everybody, this is Vic from Vic's Creative Corner. Today we're going to talk about hotkeys and switching between monitors. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. And if you want the recipe, there is a very simple place to go to. And it's going to be Stream Deck Labs. And this is going to be the recipe we're using. So what it's basically saying is we can create a hotkey and we can use the Windows Shift and arrow keys left or right. Now the cool thing, and I discovered this very recently, we can actually create a switch if we wanted to. So Windows, Shift, Left, Windows, Shift, Right. And basically we could make it a switch and it'll actually toggle it. So as you select it on and off, it'll go either left or right, which I think is really cool. Um, if I wanted to change it, I could actually go to create an, oh wait, no, I don't wanna create a new icon. <laughs> I wanna set it from file. So I have these clarity icons. I even have the GIFs. So I could do arrow left here and I could do set from file here and I could do the arrow right here. So that way I know which one is left and which one is right as I'm toggling between them, which I think is really amazing. I just discovered that by the way. So we're gonna do the hotkeys individually. So again, Windows shift left. We're gonna call, actually, you know what? We don't even need to label it because I could actually just do it from the icon here. And this is from Nerd or Die. Now you could also use the Stream Deck icons here and you could come to the ones directly sourced from Elgato. And you could scroll through this until we get to the arrows. There's an arrow here. I know there's a right arrow, I've seen it. There we go, and there's an arrow here. If you have more packs installed, there's even more arrows here. So why don't we do this? So that way we don't confuse ourselves with the switch that we just created. We're gonna use this arrow from Elgato, and we're gonna do another hotkey. This is the same thing for the monitor. It's just that it's two different switches. So again, Windows, Shift, and this time, Right. And we're gonna go to Set from File if we wanted to use our own icon pack, or if we want to use Elgato's, we're going to go to open Stream Deck icon. We're going to scroll down, look for the same type of arrow, but opposite. So this is going to be our right arrow. So if I'm selecting either of these buttons or even the switch that we created, it'll do the same function. I wish y'all could see the other monitor. Unfortunately, it doesn't permit me to do two monitors on OBS because my other monitor is actually recording this screen right here. But uh, the button, the switch that we created, the toggle, it actually changes to what it is that you're selecting if you're doing the toggle, which I think is really cool. But hopefully this helps for those games that you're running. For example, Final Fantasy VII Remake, right? Oh, wait. I'm going to give you all an example here. You know what? I have it saved here. I'll just scroll down. There we go. So this game automatically opens on my left screen and it drives me absolutely bonkers that I can't customize what monitor this game opens on my actual screen, which is why I created these shortcuts to begin with. And since it's currently on my left monitor, I'm gonna make it come to my right monitor. And now you're able to see that it's on my right monitor. If I select the button on my stream deck again, it goes to my left monitor, so you don't get to see that. Hopefully that helps you if you're trying to do a video game or if you have an application or something open on one monitor, but you actually wanna switch it to another monitor. This is definitely the recipe. It's definitely going to be uh, something that's convenient, especially if you have a Stream Deck. And I'll post a link in below from Stream Deck Labs. Um, and thank you for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe, and you all have a wonderful evening.